Can you guess what I am going to be marinating today and going to try to make a video of? Yes, you guessed right. Today I'm going to be making a leg of lamb and it's so easy and simple to do. All you need to do is get some yogurt. I've got a bunch of coriander. I added some garlic. I added some chilies, some dried seasonings, which was rosemary, thyme, sage, and some mint. Then I added some ground cloves, salt and pepper to taste. And I got an onion, quartered it up and placed it into the blender and gave it a good mix. Once that was blended, I had a lamb stock cube, which I added to the mix and gave it another blend. Tasted it and added some mint sauce and some mustard, gave it another blend and kept it on the side to, to put over my lamb. Next, I got some carrots, which I chopped up with some red onions and placed it on the tray where I'm gonna be cooking the lamb. Got my lamb, gave pat dried it up, put some slits in it and a slit in the middle and seasoned, seasoned it with all the flavors. Once the lamb was seasoned with my marinade, I got the anchovies and the garlic. I put the anchovies around the garlic and placed them into the slits. Got my bunch of herbs and put them in the middle. Then I got my mini more, uh, mini my spikes and placed the lamb on there. Put it onto the tray and put some more marinade all over it. This would go in the fridge for about two hours now. Next, I got my potatoes, peeled them, boiled them, um and then drained them in my tray i placed some oil some garlic and i have this amazing chimichurri sublime butter that i got from one of my events that i used and put that at the bottom and roasted the potatoes After a couple of hours of the lamb being in the fridge, I took it out and placed some water at the bottom of the tray, covered it with foil and placed it in the oven. The oven was preheated at 150 um, and cooked it for two hours. Once the two hours were up, I took the foil off it and let it cook another 30 minutes so it gets nice and brown for 30 minutes at 180. So now the lamb is perfectly cooked. So I've taken it off the tray and put it onto another tray to let it rest. In the meantime, I made my own gravy by adding some flour to the base and some water, giving it a good stir, getting all the stickiness off the tray and making the gravy, stirring the gravy so it thickens. Once it's thickened, I drained it, got the vegetables out and here you have it, the perfect roast lamb with your homemade gravy, roast potatoes and served with green vegetables.